YouTube, what's happening? It's your boy Cal, and welcome to another video. If you play controller on PC, this is the video for you. And if you haven't done this trick with your controller, you're missing out big time. You may or may not realize it, but your controller is holding you back. So in this video, we're going to fix that. And it's very easy. Just follow the steps in this video, watch it all the way through, and you will have no problems whatsoever. What you're looking at right now is the mean input lag, or the average input lag that you get when pairing a controller to your PC. So for example, the lowest, meaning the best in this case, because lower is better, is the DualShock 4 or the PS4 controller if paired with Bluetooth. The majority of people just take a wire, put it right on into their PC, put it right in the back of the controller, and there you go. But if you look at the diagram over here, the DualShock 4 wired connection is actually 10 millisecond delay. That's ridiculous. That's terrible. That's really, really bad. Oh, and just because you play on Xbox or you play with an Xbox controller doesn't mean you're off the hook. The Xbox 360 wired controller has 8.4 milliseconds and the Xbox One controller is at 7.2. So how do we fix it? Now I've made it really easy for you guys. I have the link right down below in the description. So click that link real quick. Then we're going to go to the second one. Then we're going to click download. We're going to open that. We're going to click Windows and E to open up our file explorer. You can also do it with the little folder down here. Next, we're going to go to our C drive or our main drive. Then we're going to create a new folder, new folder, name it, whatever you want. Next, we're going to go to this zip file right here. Click it, download, then we're going to open it. Open up file explorer, drag and drop. That's going to extract the files over to your other folder. You can also right click extract to whichever one you prefer. Next, we're going to go to driver setup. We're going to launch the setup. Next, we're going to click all. So now that we're here, we're going to see wireless controller HID compliant game controller. Next, we're going to make sure that the filter is yes for this specific row. Then we're going to click anywhere on the row, click install service, make sure that the filter on device is checked, change the selected rate to 1000 and unplug our controller. Now you can see that the controller is not on the list. So that means you did it properly. Next, we're going to plug it back in. If the device that you just plugged in says yes, 1001, that means you did it correctly. So they say doing this method, you're going to be somewhere around the 2.8 to three and a half millisecond delay, very similar to if you were to be Bluetooth, but you'd have the reliability of a wired connection. And that's it. You're done. You can X this out, have a field day, get a drink, whatever you want to do. So I hope this video helped. Don't forget to subscribe, smash that like button, and let me know if you have any comments down below. And until next time, your boy Calzone is out. Peace. <laughs>